Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Ask Rebecca radio show. Thanks for joining me. I hope everyone is doing well. Happy Cinco de Mayo and happy new show day to me. Uh, I'm officially on Tuesdays during the day, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's hair is faring all right. I know I could use a trim. I've been working on these bangs by myself, so I'm sure my hairdresser, by the time I get to see her, is going to be like, oh, boy. Um, Anyway, as I predicted, Florida and several other states have started lifting restrictions for stay-at-home orders as of yesterday. In the Orlando area, we are seeing retail businesses and restaurants reopening with social distancing measures in place for indoor and outdoor seating, bars, hair, and nail salons, um, along with other too close for comfort type businesses. They remain closed for now with weekly assessments to see if we're able to move on to phase two. And individuals, obviously, with underlying health concerns or compromised immune systems are encouraged to stay at home. I know there's mixed emotions and feelings uh, around the world about uh, people opening up. And personally, my intuitive feeling and my personal opinion is I think that, you know, we should be working on getting back to some sort of new normal and businesses need to get back to work. And those of us that, you know, are uh, afraid or have some underlying issues with health concerns, we just need to protect ourselves the best that we can. Uh, Most of us, even if we are under stay at home orders, many people are still having to go out to the grocery store and actually be out in public. So I think if we're all smart about it and safe about it, we can get through this. Um, Let's keep moving on here. It's definitely been an interesting time to say the least. And leading up to today, you may have experienced a number of different things like insecurities, disappointments, maybe some setbacks, maybe some frustrations, healing and resolutions in love or money. So, you know, um, hopefully it wasn't too stressful. And as you know, we are officially in the month of May. It's going to be a hectic feeling month with lots of energies coming through to keep you busy and feeling ungrounded at times. And even though some will still be uh, under a stay at home order, there's lots of movement and communication, scattered energy, socializing, accomplishing tasks and marking things off your to do list. So you'll do well this month if you can relinquish control and let the universe guide you. Do your best not to control agendas or outcomes and instead let the universe show you where to put your attention and energy. There's lots of creative energies around for you to express and to journey inward to get a better understanding of yourself. It's a very, very healing time. Venus will be retrograde beginning May 12th. So we have more things coming up to be healed and mastered with love, money, self-esteem, plus things that you design and find beauty in. And we've already been dealing with these energies for the last couple of weeks, thanks to the shadow periods. Um, With retrograde energies, it's always a great time to sit back and be an observer and reviewer before making any solid decisions to take action. We are also going to begin experiencing the eclipse energies that start June 5th through to July 5th excuse me, from June 5th through to July 5th. And what you may see coming uh, back up to be, re- to be released, healed, or completed are situations that you've been dealing with over the last two years that were, maybe they really stood out or came to like a boiling point around the end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020. So it it basically, it's stuff that you've been dealing with for the last couple of years, but it came to a a head at the end of the year of the end of last year and the beginning of this year. And maybe there wasn't a complete um, completion cycle that happened. So there's some, and maybe you didn't learn all the lessons or get complete closure and healing. So those things are going to be coming up to be looked at so that you can have closure and healing. May 2nd, we started a new 28-day moon cycle called the Spectral Moon of Liberation. 
It's all about dissolving, releasing, and liberation. And this cycle lasts until May 29th, and its resonance is the tone 11. And according to the galactic calendar by Sky Time, here's what we're in for for the month. It says, tone 11 represents the power of creative dissolution and dissonant structure. What can appear as destruction or chaos may actually be the necessary forces of liberation evoking a release from rigid structure and format. As we release that which no longer serves, we make way for new opportunities and understandings to emerge, setting us free from expectations or definite notions. Spectral energy breaks us out of routine, releasing us into the spectrum of possibility. Like a prism refracting white light, revealing its full spectrum of colors, Tone 11 provokes us to see aspects of our wholeness that may be yet undiscovered, guiding us to dissolve fixed concepts, fears, or habitual patterns that weigh us down. Spectral power declares, I invite breakthrough, I dissolve identity, I unsolidify, I release old models for new models, I wield dissonance as a farce of liberation, I redeem chaos as untamed order, I shed, I free limiting beliefs and constructs, no box, no separation, no boundaries, uncontained, free form, receptive to the prismatic range of possibility. Spectral advises, let go, let yourself be absorbed by life itself, be flexible in yielding to the formless flow, allow your focus to cover a vast range, dissolve feelings of constrictions, welcome spontaneity, seeming disruptions, and unexpected detours. Release allegiance to limitations, reliance upon format, or fixation upon control. Undo, break down, mix it up. Allow energy to travel as it needs. Disperse into formless existence. And a quote by Jonathan Goldman from Shifting Frequencies, in the chaos it creates, dissonance can shake up static energy and allow transformation to occur if one can stay fluid when encountering its energy. And really, we're already seeing this energy playing out uh, with what's been going on with the the virus and everything. So lots of um, positive energies there to heal, and sometimes that healing has to occur through some challenges. Let's do a moment of Zen to prepare you for the influx of intense energies that this month brings. Close your eyes, open your palms, and allow yourself to be open to receive. I'm going to be connecting with your higher self and calling on your team of guides to help energetically clear any blocks, emotional residue, and or negative attachments in your physical body and light bodies. This will help raise your vibration, expand your consciousness, and increase your awareness in order to help prepare your soul for ascension. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, relaxing as much as possible with every exhalation, and I'll let you know when to open your eyes. All right, let's open our eyes. Okay, let's get into what you can expect from today, May 5th through to May 12th, as an overall theme and then areas of love, work, finances, health, and spirituality. So the general themes, May 7th is the super full moon in Scorpio, yay, Uh, I'm curious to see how this is going to affect me because I'm a double Scorpio, uh, Scorpio sun and Scorpio rising. And uh, so it'll be interesting to see how this energy will affect me. But uh, and you, which anyway, the full moon in Scorpio, it brings healing, spiritual and compassionate energy into our lives. You may feel and see others feeling more compassionate, sympathetic and understanding. Home, family, and intimate relationships will be the focal point of the week. 
and there's a push-pull energy with this, so you could be feeling more sensitive and have conflicting emotions around what you need versus what you want and home versus work. Tensions, conflict, and pressures could arise until you master your emotions. Lots of healing can occur here if you can harness your emotional strength with your intuition. You'll be able to overcome any challenge and clearly see the negative feelings causing disharmony in your personal relationships, finances, mental health, and spirituality. It's going to be a combo of drama and accomplishments infused with lots of divine love flowing in from the creator. So it'll be a very, very uh, intense energetically uh, this week. You could receive some good news around money or support could show up in another way. Lots of positive energy and inspiration surrounding art projects, fun experiences, and spiritual breakthroughs. Clear the path of your journey from any false beliefs and subconscious programming running behind the scenes of your conscious mind. And what I mean by that is, you know, from the time you come out of the womb, you are basically being told what you should like, what you shouldn't like, what your beliefs are, what you should believe, what you shouldn't believe, what your religion is, you know, all of that. So this really is about looking in the background to see what is there that you no longer believe in or identify with and that needs to be healed. So really stop and actually pay attention to what you're thinking, what you're doing and what you're saying. Go inward in order to be successful in your outer world. So we're all moving into new beginnings in different areas of our lives, and it will be important not to bring any old baggage with you. Fresh eyes, openness, and greeting each day as if it were the first day that you're alive, right? This will bring in abundance of just new energies and new beginnings all the way around. So just treat each day as a brand new day. Um, Let's see, there will also be plenty of opportunities to rest and work behind the scenes while some projects come to a temporary stop or a halt. Um, they're not ending, they're just on pause, right? And the more, po- the more challenging part of this energy is the possibility of you needing to work harder at keeping your energy and mind from going off on non-helpful tangents. So you could be all over the place uh, mentally, and emotionally work for those of you employed uh, some of you may have a really heavy workload this week while others may be having unpleasant feelings around co-workers and or their job and some co-workers may have unpleasant feelings towards you so you might have to deal with some of that as well and then some of you may decide your current working situation no longer is good for you and you decide to make a change or at the very least you're thinking about what changes you can make. So again, lots of healing, lots of things happening. Uh, take your time making decisions right now. I, I wouldn't make any rash judgments or choices. Really get a game plan together. Those of you that are looking for a job, not feeling too much in this area, with the exception of some of you who have been on furlough receiving information on when you'll get called back or, you know, when you're going to be required to come back to work. Love, if you're in a committed relationship or dating seriously, some of you may be so consumed with your relationship that you're neglecting finances, friends, and other relationships, so you could see some blow up around that. Some of you will be working through forgiving uh, and forgetting past problems. Some could be dishonest about something with their partner. Uh, and that could be just maybe uh, lying about something or maybe you're not being completely honest about what your feelings are and you're not expressing yourself fully. Some may step outside of the relationship for emotional, mental, or physical support. Lastly, some will be working on putting the spark back into their relationships. Those of you that are single and dating, um, I feel like there's not really much happening here except a feeling of like hookups, flirting, and having fun, more casual, probably more online stuff uh, than in-person meetups. But for the most part, it just feels lighthearted and easy. And during this time, I would guard against starting any serious relationship, um, you know, save that 
as you get to know each other a little bit better because of the the eclipse energies and Venus retrograde and all these other planetary alignments and then the full moon and Scorpio like there's just so many weird energies right now I wouldn't uh, you know end or begin any relationships during this time give it a little give it a little thought before you make any decisions finances um, it's a combination of stable tight flowing and balance it just really depends on where you are in your life some will be improving money flow while others will be controlling money flow and some of you may decide to gamble splurge or overspend health this week, caution with drugs and alcohol. Uh, I'm feeling minor to major accidents of hurting yourself while playing or goofing around. So those of us in Florida hitting the beaches and the pool <laughs> and stuff because of the nice weather, you know, just be careful with mixing drugs and alcohol and water and vehicles and all that stuff. Um, it's going to be important just to stay present in the moment and to pay attention to your surroundings. Lastly, um, emotions and feelings will be coming up to be healed. Feel what you need and try not to get sucked into dwelling in, in that, right? Emotions are energy in motion. They're meant to flow through you to be released, not to be held on to, hoarded, and constantly attracting drama into your life because you're not allowing your emotions to flow freely. And that's why you see it will attract challenges and will attract emotional situations so it can be released. Spirituality, this week is all about feeling at home with yourself, the energies of the universe, and your feelings of belonging. Many of you will see uh, a heart chakra activation as well. While some may be feeling bored with their spirituality, to that I say go explore and do research. There is so much to learn that it's impossible to do it all in this lifetime. So much to learn about life and our existence and belief systems and everything else. So just whatever's been piquing your interest, do some research and go down the rabbit hole and, you know, learn, 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 learn. Okay, that wraps up the intuitive messages for this week. Let me get to my caller. I have Laura in Limerick, Ireland. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. How can I help you today? Um, I'd love just a general reading, if you can, or mediumship. Sure. Um, let's see. So I, I feel like emotionally, I just feel like you're in a rut. You're stuck. You're, you're, you know, I just feel like nothing is moving forward, which makes perfect sense right now with the time period that we're in. But what I'm feeling yeah. is that you are about to make some spiritual leaps and you are about to break free out of what I would consider a self-imposed rut. Um, so, you know, okay. it, you may not realize that it's partly your, your, your perception and your feelings that might have had you in a little bit of a limbo and maybe not feeling so great, but that energy is lifting off of you now. And within the next, I, I, I want to say this entire month, you're going to start feeling movement again, and you're going to start seeing more of um, some positive energy flowing around you. And you're going to shift your perception to focusing more on your blessings is kind of what I feel um, in this area. Does that, you know, does that stuck rut feeling resonate with you? Yeah, it does. Yeah. And I, and I feel like, your higher self, your intuition, really your just your oversoul and this piece of you that's outside of you, which is really, really your biggest cheerleader and fan. So I, I feel like you do have some family members around you that are really trying to help guide you from the other side. But the the biggest person that's actually guiding you and trying to come through you very loudly is an aspect of yourself that is 
outside of your body, right? It's your higher self. And it's, it's asking you to pay attention to spiritual messages that are coming to you from multiple areas. I feel like it's coming from people in your life. It's coming through things that you're reading and things that you're maybe watching on like YouTube and other places. And it's, sorry, I just one second. I was trying to interpret exactly what the message is. So what it's trying to say, what it's trying to do is it's trying to get you to notice opportunities that are around you that you haven't been able to see. Does that, does that resonate with you at all? Pay attention to all the messages that are coming through because it's trying to guide you to see some opportunities that you've been missing that are in front of you. And the other part of that is it's, it's trying this energy that's around you, which like I said, is your higher self, but it's also some, some family members and guides and angels that are around you that are trying to also get you to move beyond the words that are coming or move beyond the ghosts of your past and toward a brighter, happier future. And there's a strong message in you needing to believe in yourself and love yourself. And the more that you can look around, you're going to see some opportunities that you didn't notice that are going to help you financially They're going to help you in what I would consider the area of your career, which is tied to purpose and passion. Um, And you can start seeing more of this between now and February of 2021, where you're going to see some significant changes in your life. Um, do Do you have any specific questions for me that you want me to connect with more? Um, I don't know if you can answer these questions, but um, I'm trying for a baby. I lost the baby last year, and um, like, can you see any time frame of when I might conceive? Um. Okay, so I, I, I right away I received May as an answer. Um, okay. And I, I, I just want to sort out and feel if it's this month or if it's next May. Okay. So have you been doing, I feel like you've actually been doing things to increase your chances of becoming pregnant. Are, are you doing any sort of like fertility treatments or anything? Um, no, I haven't, but, um, like I have been taking pre vitamins and things like that to hire my chances. Okay. So I feel like with what you're doing, I feel like research, this does not feel connected to, you know, traditional fertility where you go to the doctor and you're having to take shots and stuff. But I feel like there's something on top of what you're already doing that will increase your chances of fertility. I, I feel like it's tied to some sort of diet. Um, maybe do a little bit of research on that. And I do feel like there's a possibility you could conceive this month. And if it's not you this conceiving month. this month, then to me, okay. it feels like you're ha- you'll have a baby by May of next year. Okay, that's brilliant. Yeah, it's happening. The soul, the soul is there. It's a matter, it's a matter of timing. Um, and I, I see this a lot with a lot of my clients that really want to get pregnant. Um, we have to remember that the soul coming in is waiting for a specific planetary alignment, sun alignment, so that 
the soul comes in, it has a specific journey. And right now, that's what's been keeping you from getting pregnant. I don't feel concerns about fertility or anything like that. I do feel like there's a connection to your diet. So definitely do a little bit of research on that. Um, Laura, I, I do have to go. I appreciate you for calling in. I'm wishing you the best of luck. I hope that you're going to have Thank a baby so and I would love to hear when you do. <laughs> Thanks very much for your reading. I really appreciate it. Thanks a million. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you. All right, everybody, that wraps up this week's intuitive messages and uh, the show. I look forward to connecting with you guys next week. Bye. Bye.